Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be looking at these HJC motorcycle helmets. I purchased them a few weeks ago, so let's go downstairs to the man cave and I'll give you my initial thoughts on them. So a little bit of background about HJC. Uh, it stands for Han Jin Crown. And they started manufacturing helmets in 1971 and are a South Korean company. Three price points to the helmets. £80 buys you their entry level helmets, basically polycarbonate helmets. Uh, £200 plus that gives you the uh, mid-entry uh, level helmets, which is the one that I've purchased. And you get your um, fiberglass shell with a bit of Kevlar thrown in there as well. And top of the range, £350 and above. That gets you their Rafa helmets and that stands for Revolutionary Performance Helmets. Advanced. We've recently purchased the Senna 10S intercom system and we were after helmets which would take that intercom system and give us no problem with the earache whatsoever. Behind me I've got my faithful Shoei helmets but man they were so uncomfortable with the uh, speakers fitted into the helmets that I had to go and get two new helmets for using the Senna 10S. So we had a budget of £400 for both helmets and after much internet searching I got it down to this helmet the HJC FGST which sits in the middle uh, of the range of their lineup. Uh, the FG stands for fiberglass and a bit of Kevlar as well and the ST stands for sports touring. So what's good about this helmet in particular is that the shell has actually got cutouts for the speakers to fit into snugly thereby doing away with that excruciating pain that you can get with the pressure points on the ears when you fit certain speakers into the helmets. It's uh, the Kuma, uh, it's red in colour. Uh, photos on the internet uh, seem to imply that it was a glossy type finish but in reality it's quite a matte finish and that goes for my wife's helmet. She went for the white one, the Tian. Also that's a bit of a matte finish uh, as well. Sizing wise the helmets come in two shell sizes. Uh, from medium and below you're going to get the small exterior shell and then from large and above you'll get the the larger shell. I'm normally a size 56 small but that was just a little bit too tight for me so I've gone for the uh, medium which is a 57 and you know what that fits really well. As far as uh, noise goes I've had it a couple of weeks now and you know what it's not as quiet as my Shoei but it's a quiet helmet. So the helmets were purchased from uh, sportsbikeshop.co.uk and the cost of that was about £199 per helmet and delivered in a HJC box and that came within a well packaged uh, sportsbike.co.uk bigger box. In the box you get a chin wind deflector, a manual and an anti-fog insert for the pinlock visor system and a cloth storage bag. So looking at the helmet then you have fresh air vents at the front here two fresh air vents at the top and exhaust ports at the rear and very easy to operate with a gloved hand. So the helmet itself you've got one of these rubbery nose thingies at the front here and the cheek pads inside are easily removable by a couple of snaps and you have a removable uh, chin uh, wind deflector as well again it, uh, that's attached by a couple of snaps. The helmet itself is secured by a couple of uh, D-rings. They're not as nice as the ones on my Shoei, they're a little bit uh, sharper, shall we say, for want of a better word. Uh, but they're fine and the end of the strap is secured uh, to the buckle uh, by a snap system to stop it from flapping around. So the virus itself, from uh, fully up to fully down, there are four clicks and you can snap it at the bottom uh, like so, very easy and open it very easy as well. It's got a pin lock system and you also get a free uh, anti-fog insert which is very easy to uh, put on the visor itself. The helmet also comes with an integral uh, sun visor and again it's operated by a lever on the left hand side of the helmet so if you want to go for that fighter pilot look you can do and it's pretty cool actually and very easy to operate. So with Fly Me You Wear Glasses there are a couple of cutouts uh, inside the helmets which allows you to put the glasses on very easily. Remove the visor, very simple with the visor fully up. You've got two uh, visor mounting arms on either side of the helmet. Uh, pull each one of them back until they click. And on the other side. And all you do is you just pull the visor out. To reattach the visor you have uh, a tab on the visor here. just need to line it up with the a black mark down here. There we go, that's lined up and it should click. 
there it goes so that's in and do exactly the same on the other side to hear it click and there you go very simple Five safety goes again it's right up there with Shuey and our eyes the UK government under the Department for Transport i.e. the DFT they operate a safety helmet testing program called SHARP and that stands for safety helmet assessment and rating program basically give it a star system one not so good five stars is top of the range and this bad boy here HJC gets five stars together with the Shuey and the RIs, the more expensive helmets so it is right up there with the best of them so I've only been riding with this helmet now for a couple of weeks uh, which is about two hours or so uh, worth of time in the saddle. But for £200 you cannot go wrong, but more importantly, five stars from the safety point of view from the UK government. So it's a great safe helmet in my view. Uh, click on the links below for the information. If you like what you see, please subscribe. If you want to leave any comments, good or bad, please feel free to do so. But either way, have a great day. I'll see you again.